Alright, what's up everyone, Pathfinder here, and today we are going to be playing some more uh, Killing of Flora 2, and just before I actually jump right into the video, we are actually going to be unboxing one crate, not more, even though I'm getting 10 crates every single time I log into the game, I'm not even freaking joking, man. I mean, I already unboxed 10 before I opened the world, because I don't know if it's because of... I don't know the world being bugged or something else, but I mean, just look at the amount of freaking, I mean, those 10 crates that I got like right now, I just like recycled everything because I do not want to abuse this bug, but I mean, look at the amount of stuff I got. I mean, excluding this, I got this, I got this, I got this, this thing, this guy, got this shit, this shit, that shit, these things. I mean, even weapon skins, man, just look at the amount of precious knives and the 9mm, even though I have like, like 2 or 5, 3, 4, and you can't even recycle these, I just don't know why not. But yeah, man, oh, I also got this from my very first crate. But yeah, man, just look at how my freaking character looks like. I mean, if you guys watched any of my in real life videos, then you probably know why I was hyped about the paper bag. And I did actually get it, even though it was not, like, quote-unquote legit, because I have no power over the game just randomly giving me 10 crates every time I log in. But yeah, other than that, got the Vietnam skins for some reason. Only ever installed Rising Storm once. And apparently I got the skins, so that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm just going to unbox this crate that I got, like, quote-unquote legit. Because I have no control, as I said, over the other things. And of course I got classic Masterson face paint. Because why would you have freaking face paint, man? If I get, like, pajamas or face paints, I'm just gonna actually just, like, use this. Okay, here we go. I got, I got a new item, the foam hat. And I'm just gonna recycle it because I didn't get it, like, legit. And yeah, today I decided to play some Krampus Lair with my support. And we're just going to be playing the support with the free star- I mean, just look at this thing, man. Just mm, quality perfection. Okay, but yeah, support time. I don't usually just go and play the support for solo. I usually like it for, like, multiplayer games, but... Yeah, man. If, if you're a support player, then I freaking appreciate you. Because every single time I see, like, a support player on my team, it's just so freaking cool, man. Because he can just, like, go and repair doors, weld the doors, like, give you ammunition and armor. The support is just, like, an overall good-ass pick for multiplayer. And the fact that it can, like, penetrate to multiple freaking elves, it's even better. Okay, freaking plot, elf, whatever the hell you are, go away. Oh, I thought he was actually closer than he was supposed to be. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna reload this thing, just gonna bash this guy in the meantime, kill the freaking Krampus if I can, there we go. Destroy more things. But yeah, man, I really do like this new update, it's just so quality perfection, man. But the only thing I'm kind of bummed about is the fact that this map is, you know, you're not your typical map. I mean, Shripwar have something against, like, typical maps, like, normal maps. I mean, usually when they do, like, a new map these days, they just go and do, like, a descent style, or they do a progression map, as this one is. But even though this is, like, a progression type map, I don't really mind it all that much. It's still pretty freaking sick, if you ask me. Okay, but yeah, I'm just going to be playing today with the free thrower and probably the M4 and the boomstick, and we'll see how it will pan out. So yeah, skip in the trader and be right back. Oh, and by the way, this is like the precious, the Walt precious knife. I mean, look at it, man. I mean, I like the fact that it's not like one solid color. It's actually like silver and gold, which is kind of decent. But yeah, okay, skip in the trader and be right back. And we are back. And I mean, just look at this 9mm skin. J just, just take a good look at it. It looks actually better than the actual precious one, not even gonna lie. I mean, even though they like, I don't know, they changed the precious skins a little bit, I think, because my 8Z looks actually different, which is precious, by the way. Okay, let's see this now, I'm just gonna kill the freaking things, gonna try and defend the ground. 
Oh my god, I, I do wish the support would actually like reload in real time in slow motion. It would actually be pretty freaking sick. But sadly it's not. Okay, stalkers, okay, where's the quarter pawn gonna come from? Or who's that? Scrake, I don't even know. Okay, I'm just gonna kill that. Oh, that's a quarter pound. Nope, not like this. Okay, I think I can just like kill him like normally right, right there. And he's dead. Well, quarter pounds. Very hard if you ask me. They're actually not. They're just like even easier than clots probably. Okay, what do we have? We got more elves. Go back to the workshop and make me presents. You pieces of shit. Okay, I'm just gonna bash this guy because I cannot be asked. Okay, what else do we have? We got some gingerbreads, some more elves, and even more gingerbreads because of reasons. Oh, that's a whole freaking round of spiders. Not appreciated. Not in the slightest. Oh, Siren. Shut the hell up, man. Oh, well, he just got launched. I think he just, like, splattered blood on the freaking ceiling over there. Okay, husk. I mean, I would push you into the wood chipper, but I was kind of too late. I mean, I just like the support in the double barrel, I mean. Okay, seven left. Where the hell even are they? Okay, well, here's, like, two of them. Okay, got one. Gingerbread, go back into the freaking oven and burn. Oh, more gingerbread. Because why the hell not? But did that guy actually die? And then I just destroy them again and he's dead nice dude I, I just can't get enough of these like precious knives from the vault oh my god it just looks so cool man okay well I'm just gonna buy the free throw right now and yeah skipping the trader and be right back and we are back and I'm going to be completely honest I don't really like the free thrower for the survivalist I actually love it more with my support because the boomstick and the freeze thrower, they just go so freaking well together, man. There is just no doubt about it. Okay, freaking elves inside the door. Can you go away from the door? Pretty freaking please. And here we go. Can I just freeze him through the door? And he's dead through the door. Nice, can I actually get like... You can actually get snow globes with your freeze thrower, nice. Okay, where's the scray gonna be? Because I did hear him spawning somewhere. Okay, but before he's going to come, let me just kill off all the little critters that are behind the doors. Because they're just going to be so annoying once they break it down. Okay, where, he, where is he at? Okay, so he's probably like... Oh, here he is! Okay, now this is why I love the free thrower with my support more than... Okay, not exactly this, because I got grabbed from behind. But yeah, you can freeze him up and just destroy him with the double barrel. Even though I like messed it up a little bit at the start, but doesn't really matter, man. Still need to get used to it because I didn't play it like all that much. Because I don't think it's like a mandatory weapon to have, but it's decent. I'll give it that. And as I said, I do like the al alternative fire on it, which can just like freeze everything up, even the catch on them. Okay, stalkers, what the hell are your actual plans? And when the gore fiend or gore fast actually block their stupid heads, they just don't even want to get frozen for some reason, which defies logic in every single way. But that's just how it is, man. Okay, let's just freeze that if I can and run away from this, because if I don't, I'm probably gonna get cornered and killed. Because that's usually what happens in this map. I mean, once, if you're playing like multiplayer, once like two people die at once, then you know you're screwed, man. Y you just know. Oh, Siren doesn't want to be a part of this map, apparently. Oh, we got more Gorfin. Wait, yeah, Gorfins. We got more Quarter Pounds somewhere lurking a around. Oh, here he is. Freaking Quarter Pounds, man. Never appreciate those. Okay, he's dead. Okay, I'm gonna try it again here on this Scrake. Like, the, the tactic that you can probably have in multiplayer as well. Here you go, you just go, freeze them up, and then you go to them and just headshot them with the double barrel and, get, and then get slashed by a freaking gingerbread man. The freeze thrower, as I said, not a personal fan of it, but I can see why it can be useful. I mean, for scrakes and flesh bones, it's definitely useful, but for everything else, I don't think it's actually that mandatory, man. 
Okay, oh, Claude, you're, you've been just like destroying that door for like your whole entire life. Okay, well, skipping the trader and be right a back. And we are back, and I did buy myself the M4 a combat shotgun, so this is actually going to be like... 80% even easier than the previous wave, I mean, we'll see. Okay, where the hell do I need to even defend? I didn't even see. Okay, over there, like, half across the map. Nice. I mean, I don't really need to go and defend it, as I said, I don't really need the money, but... I guess it's only, like, personal challenge to see if you can actually, like, defend it or not. I mean, I'll try, man. Okay, here we go, let me just freeze these guys up. I mean, gore fiends and gore fast. They're just, like, the worst to freeze. Like, literally the worst. Okay, this is not going to be fun. Jesus Christ, just so freaking many of them. But the double barrel does short work. Oh, that's not a pretty sight. Or a pretty s voice, sound, whatever. Okay, Siren, what are your plans? He's gonna freeze you up and kill you. Oh, one is raged and one is not raged. Nice. And that's a scrake. Wait, can this, like... Oh, I can actually freeze them like this, nice. And then just kill them. And destroy the flesh pound with the double barrel. And kill the other guy with my M4. Oh, and that's a cl Oh, why am I without life? Not supposed to happen like that. I thought I like healed up beforehand, I guess I didn't. Okay, stalkers not appreciated in the slightest. And they're destroying me from behind, oh, of course. Okay, what else? Don't think I didn't hear you there, man. Ow! Oh. Okay, stalkers, more stalkers that I don't really need to kill. Oh, that's a gingerbread. Gingerbread freaking man. Okay, there's only like six left. They're probably all just like right here. Okay, get demolished. Wait, where's that like Krampus entrance area? I think it's like behind this corner, right? Yeah, here we go. I mean, support on Krampus Lair, it's actually very freaking decent. Okay, let's just go into the portal of wonders and i'm still on the naughty list nice freaking krampus man doesn't even want to do jack shit okay the free thrower is pretty much useless against the freaking krampus man so i'm just gonna sell that by the a12 by the 8z and if you guys didn't see the precious 8z this is how it looks like man it looks kind of like different to what it used to look like I think they kind of like changed all the precious skins, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, they do have like that glow on them every once in a while, like right now. But yeah, overall, pretty up. decent. Eat. Okay, now I can't even skip the trader because the trader is pretty much over. Okay, support versus Krampus. Let's see what we can actually Time's do there, up. man. Go okay, he's just gonna fall like right there, so I'm just gonna wait for him and kill him. Yeah, yeah, Krampus, I know your plans. You are very sad, and you're gonna die. And here he is. Okay, usually he just goes, like, into that cave area, but apparently not today. Okay, the A12 should, like... Oh, he's actually moving, and he didn't even, like, fart or anything. Well, I guess, I guess not. Okay, as I said, don't pick anything else besides, like... I don't know, the sharpshooter, the gunslinger, or the berserker for the Krampus, because he's just resilient as hell to everything. He's just so bad. And why the hell did my thing just pop? What the hell? Okay, Krampus, I know you're just, like, bad, but can you please just commit? Okay, where the hell am I even going right now? I don't even know. Okay, grenade time. Just gonna shoot you in the head with my double barrel. Oh! Freaking abomination spawns. Never like these things. But yeah, there's just so much stuff you can do with the double barrel, man. It's just like an awesome ass weapon. Oh my god, these mines are just like everywhere. Like I'm just gonna have to step in a few because I cannot get through them otherwise. And I just destroyed it. Nice. Like I actually need to get some like distance between me and the Krampus because he's actually doing damage. I mean, if you actually want, like, a challenge, challenging boss fight against this guy, just pick, like, a perk that is not, like, suited to kill him. Because right now the support, it's just not cutting it, man. Because the support is not meant to, like, you know, kill bosses and shit. It's more of, like, as it is in the name, like, support, support the team. 
I mean, once you get his, like, armor off, he's kind of easy to kill, I guess. But I do need to destroy his mines, because those are annoying as hell. And how the hell did that actually get me there? My god. Krampus, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, let's just hope he's not going to grab me with his thing. Oh, Abomination spawn, not today. I mean, you're probably wondering why I'm just, like, shooting at the ground. I'm just trying to, like, jump over these guys. And I think it's working. Hopefully. Okay, I should probably kill him by now, because I'm just, like, messing around a little bit. But, oh my god, I just stepped into, like, the mother load of mines. Nice. Okay, let's just kill him now. Cannot be... Oh, more mines. I mean, the only challenging part here is just avoiding all of his freaking mines, because they're just, like, everywhere. Oh, Krampus, did you just get stunned? Dude, what the hell are your actual, actual plans? Okay, I'm just gonna kill him with this now, I cannot be asked. And there he goes. Rest in pieces, man. You will be missed. I mean, I still don't know how I feel about this boss. I mean, he's not, like, that challenging. Not in, like, solo or multiplayer. He's overall kind of freaking easy. But yeah. I mean, his attacks are, like, random as hell, but... Overall, he's pretty easy. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.